Man, this game is so awesome. I mean, it's totally not a ripoff, unlike most games. Mighty number no. 9. Jake, where's our grocery store money? Oh, I spent it all in this stupid game and this mysterious old lamp that I bought from a strange man in an alleyway. Why would you spend our food money on that crap? Now what are we going to do for food? Relax, Petey. I know a way we can make some money. It better not involve us becoming male prostitutes. <laughs> no, I, I, I wasn't going to say that. I mean, you're the one that said it. Well, you better find a way to get that money back, or I'll kick you out of the house. You can't do that. I own this house. Whoa! Don't come back until you get me my money. Fine! Stupid Petey, throwing me out of the house. If only I could magically wish for all that money back. <laughs> Hello! Whoa! Hello, my new master. My name is Genie Jerry, and I'm a genie. Are you a ghost? Uh, no. I was just saying I'm a, a ghoul. What? No, I'm a, a witch. Wait. Oh, I know what you are. You're a tax attorney, aren't you? No, shut up. Just shut up. God, you're so annoying. Jeez. So what are you then? I'm a genie. Oh, you mean these? No, not genies, you idiot. Genie. You know, Grant's wishes. Ugh. Aladdin? Oh, wait, does that mean I get three wishes? Yes, but you only get three wishes when you complete the ancient trial. The trial of Shantae Half-Genie Hero. With those three wishes, I can wish back my grocery store money. And also, I can finally wish for that ointment I'm too embarrassed to buy. I'll do it! Very well then. Abracadabra, hui hai, jummy jolly, and your magic stuff, ba boom Shantae! The Shantae series was created by WayForward. WayForward was known as a developer for Hire Studio and created a lot of licensed games for multiple franchises. Some good and some, well, just bad. But on June 2nd, 2002, WayForward created their first original IP, Shantae for the Game Boy Color. And since then, Shantae has starred in three games throughout many different platforms. But we're going to take a look at Shantae's most recent adventure, Half Genie Hero. And you know the old genie saying. Touch me again, I'm drowning in this plastic. Well, maybe that's not the right saying, but anyway, let's play some Shantae! Shantae! One night, Shantae woke up to a mysterious voice. And instead of calling 911 like a responsible adult, Shantae follows the voice into a creepy underground cellar. Cause you know, curiosity killed the cat. At the bottom of the cellar, Shantae finds a mystical light warning her of an ancient darkness that plans to use the genie magic to rule the world. Now that's just rude. Just because they're a different skin color than you doesn't mean they're going to hurt you, racist. After a lot of important unanswered questions, Shantae later finds out it was just all a dream. I wish my whole life was a dream, because it's a nightmare. Shantae Half-Genie Hero follows the main character Shantae, who is a half-genie and half-human hybrid, which in reality would look something like this. <laughs> Shantae's job is to protect the town of Scuttletown from danger. And, uh, excuse me, sir, my eyes are up here, pervert! Now this doesn't seem too hard, the townspeople are pretty chill. Well, some of them. Look how happy everybody is! OH MY GOD, PIRATES! I'm not letting some stupid pirates push me around, I'm a strong, independent woman! TAKE THAT! The game is a 2D platformer, which, if you've known me for a while, I love me some 2D platformers. Shantae's attack is to whip things up with her hair, and dang, if I had hair like that, I would be GORGEOUS! The game's visuals are pretty good, the 3D backgrounds with 2D hand-drawn characters is certainly entertaining to look at, especially when the animation for the characters are really well done. And Shantae's animations just move with the rhythm of the music, which I greatly admire. Yeah, get down, Shantae! You don't need a man! Live your life how you want! What? At the end of the level, we're introduced to the leader of the pirates and Shantae's nemesis, Risky Boots. What's so risky about your boots, Risky? My friend Woody here has some snakes in his boots. Right, Woody? There's a snake in my boots! After you beat the pirates and recover a stolen blueprint, we give it back to our Uncle Memek. And instead of consulting him about the traumatizing dream that I had last night, we help him gather parts for his machine that he's working on. 
you know, all I ask is for you to sit down and have a personal conversation with me. But no, you're always working on your machine. You then get a map to access another level, and at this point of the game, I found out how much depth this game actually has. As you progress, you find new dance abilities that allow Shantae to transform into different creatures that all have useful abilities, including, but not limited to, monkey, elephant, crab, bat, mermaid, spider, and my personal favorite, blobfish. This one actually does nothing, but look at him! He's just so majestic! Flopping around, doing nothing, just like me. These dance abilities are usually unlocked by finding them in different levels, and besides transforming, one of the unique things I find interesting about this game is the NPC side quests. Like normal side quests, they have you completing objectives or giving them a certain item. They're not really side quests per se, but they add a lot of replayability and encourage you to go back to levels you already completed for more treasure and junk. This is actually done well because with the addition of unlocking new dances, you'll be able to get to areas that you couldn't really get to before. Of course, it did get a little frustrating, because sometimes I didn't know what to do. Even though the game can still offer you hints, I still found myself wondering what I'm supposed to actually be doing. But maybe that's just me, because I'm stupid and don't pay that much attention. And the levels are pretty cool too. All of them seem to have a different story, but the game still keeps that one main story objective in mind. One level, you're rescuing maidens from a fake mermaid factory. The next minute, everyone in town has lost their memories. And now you're on a magic carpet race and murdering all all the racer oh wait am i not supposed to be doing that oh god all in all this game is absolutely great from the lovable characters to right down to the engaging gameplay this game sure earned its top spot in one of my most favorite games and i haven't even heard of it until now with the amount of unlockables and vast amount of content this game sure doesn't get enough credit for what it deserves and it sure charmed the crap out of me. And if you're into platformers like I am, it'll do the same for you. And because of this game, I think I'm going to incorporate a scaling system in my game reviews now. So without further hesitation, I give this game... A 94. Excellent. So, idiot, now that you completed the trial, what are your three wishes? Hmm... Oh my god. Hehehe, <laughs> Petey, look, I'm a blobfish! What in God's name happened to you? Well, it turns out that lamp that I bought ended up having a genie inside of it, and I wished to be turned into a blobfish. So instead of wishing for money, or something important like world peace, you wished to be turned into a bloody blobfish. Yeah, you see, I thought about that, but then I started to think. What's better, being turned into a blobfish, or world peace? Fuck. Being turned into a blobfish. See, that's what I thought. Now let's get out of here and go get something to eat. How? We don't have any money. Petey, I'm a blobfish. I can do anything! I love being a blobfish! He does realize he has two other wishes, right? 